Cholesterol is made in your liver and has many important functions. For example, it helps keep the walls of your cells flexible and is needed to make several hormones. However, like anything in the body, too much cholesterol in the wrong places creates problems. Like fat, cholesterol does not dissolve in water. Instead, its transports in the body depends on molecules called lipoproteins, which carry cholesterol, fat, and fat-soluble vitamins in the blood. Different kinds of lipoproteins have different effects on health. For example, high levels of low-density lipoprotein, LDL, result in cholesterol deposits in blood vessel walls, which can lead to clogged arteries, strokes, heart attacks, and kidney failure. In contrast, high-density lipoprotein, HDL, helps carry cholesterol away from vessel walls and helps prevent these diseases. Here are six natural ways to increase the good HDL cholesterol and lower the bad LDL cholesterol. 1. Focus on monosaturated fats. Monosaturated fats may reduce the oxidation of lipoproteins, which contributes to clogged arteries. Monosaturated fats are healthy because they decrease harmful LDL cholesterol, increase good HDL cholesterol, and reduce harmful oxidation. Few great sources of monosaturated fats are olive oil, canola oil, tree nuts, and avocados. 2. Eat soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is a group of different compounds in plants that dissolve in water and that humans can't digest. However, the beneficial bacteria that live in your intestines can digest soluble fiber. In fact, they require it for their own nutrition. These good bacteria, also called probiotics, reduce both harmful kinds of lipoproteins, LDL and VLDL. 3. Limit your intake of foods full of saturated and trans fats. Foods with a lot of saturated fat include butter, fatty flesh like red meat, full fat and low fat dairy products, palm oil, and coconut oil. If you see partially hydrogenated fat in the ingredient list of a food label, that food has trans fats. 4. Exercise. Exercise is a win-win for heart health. Not only does it improve physical fitness and help combat obesity, but it also reduces harmful LDL and increases beneficial HDL. In one study, 12 weeks of combined aerobic and resistance exercise reduced the especially harmful oxidized LDL in 20 overweight women. While even low-intensity exercise like walking increased HDL, making your exercise longer and more intense increases the benefits. 5. Lose weight. Dieting influences the way your body absorbs and produces cholesterol. Weight loss reduces total cholesterol, in part by decreasing the creation of new cholesterol in the liver. Weight loss has had different, though generally beneficial, effects on HDL and LDL in different studies. 6. Choose protein-rich plant foods. Choose protein-rich plant foods such as legumes or beans, nuts, and seeds over meat. Common legumes include lentils, peas, and beans such as pinto beans, red beans, white beans, and soya beans. They're full of nutritional riches and are a very healthy, protein-packed alternative to meat. Legumes help lower total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, blood sugar, and insulin levels, and may even lower cancer risk.